Hello everybody, good morning and welcome to your Monday morning fills. Um, I hope you've had a fantastic week. Thank you for joining me at this, if, you, if you've been here before, if you're not yet, like and subscribe. I'd love for you to. If this is your first time, I'd love for you to stick around to the end. And if you do like my content, please subscribe and like. Everybody tells me to hit the notification bell. Don't do it. It could be annoying. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm just saying on my all the notifications. I never do notifications. Um, I'm going to see that it's there, right? I do banners and stuff, but on important stuff. Anyways, guys, yes, like and subscribe. If you'd like a personal read, it's $45 for your first time. Um, and any time after that is 60 No cliffhangers, no cutoffs. I've had a few reach out from this YouTube, and they were happy because that's it. I don't cut you off. I don't leave you a cliffhanger. We're just going to read until it happens. That's why my hashtag is get to the root of it with me. I'm not going to stop. So... Um, if you run out of time, then I'm going to get nosy and continue to read my... No, I'm joking. Anyways, guys, um, let's get to your weekly fills. We are officially, and we were already last week, in Aries season, which means it's weird since I started getting to know my chart and astrology more. I don't do charts and I'm not into astrology, but I'm getting into it from my own personal, like reading, you know, tarot reading and my own personal getting knowledge on other people on how to understand them better with signs. Well, Aries is happens to be the first sign in our Zodiac. So it's almost a new year. So happy new year to Zodiac, right? Like, okay, that's why the card, fool card is Aries. It's the beginning. It's, uh, so yeah, I feel like we now, we have like three birthdays. Our, our, our new year's, our own, that we were born. New Year's by calendar and another New Year's by uh, Zodiac. Huh. Anyway, let's get to this because you have to get to work. Love by God, guided by you, Spirit. Let's go. Monday morning, what is it? Cutting will of luck. Maybe if you cut something out of your life, a habit, a pattern, a person, so, uh, some, you'll get some fortunate luck in. That's nice to hear the first thing Monday morning. Because generally when you're cutting something that's not healthy for you or it's just not good situation or whatever, it may be, right? Okay. But I hope it's spiritual. You'll need to heal from something too. Let's go. For our collective, guys, it's windy. It's already in the 90s in Vegas. But I went on a very long hike this morning. We had so much fun sexual union but it is windy it's been for a few days now so i'm going to get into some movies anybody got some recommend to have some recommendations leave it in your comment i'm always looking for new movies. family and healing so the conflict resolves the healing has begun like i said you probably need to heal something you may be cutting out just a strong passionate physical connection with somebody that's what it says on here you know just somebody that's in and out of your life Maybe you just have a sexual connection with this person and, you know, you know. But as you heal, you may want to make the effort. Now, is that towards yourself by cutting this person? Or are you making the effort towards the other person? We're going to find out what stresses you out. Come on, guys. A sexual union cannot have this much going on. You clearly have more feelings than just sex. Yes, let me do this. Come on, Scott. Gone. <laughs> Me. socialization um yeah you probably have to go out and have martini time with the girls and uh see what's happening you know interact with others and it might bring balance to you it might give you more knowledge okay on what you should do or what you shouldn't because honestly guys i'm feeling this and we got the cutting we got make efforts healing spiritual and this is just a strong sexual you wouldn't have all this so okay take it how it resonates with the job maybe it's maybe it's a job where you make good money but it's you feel it's not good for you but you have so much vested that it's hard for you to walk well, you know what i'm saying so it is money career there's no cross watchers over here you take what resonates own your own bullshit too guys that's what's true healing is happiness you, they, 
you're going to find out at the end of this, there's going to be some happiness to this. So let's go find out what this is all about. Okay. Let me move this stuff here. Because I have to have room. Guys, usually I go to my Gilded Tarot. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But I'm being guided today to use the wizard. So we're going to do that. Hold on, let's have a second. I got the littlest cut on my hand the other day. And my hands get dry anyways and cracking. So this one's even worse. Let's go. Led by God, guided by you guys. I've used these for one other reading. Um, I've been waiting to be called to them again. I'm glad I am. I love the art on these. Um, so who knows? Maybe I'll be using them for more reads. I will be starting Cross Watchers Heaven again this week. Guys, I don't know, Aries, if you are Aries and you're watching, I don't know what you're doing to folks, but they got the most views. Okay, I am going to be doing an Aries personal read for their birthday season this week. Hey, I might kick it off with that. And then, for reals, do the Crosswatcher Heaven, because I got to see what the heck happened with Aries last month and their people who they were crosswatching for. I mean, I watched it again when I was seeing that, but... Guys, I will be drawn to watch my videos again. Otherwise, I don't. If I make mistakes, I'm not going to edit them out. I just try to be who I am. If I want to dress up, I dress up. If I want to be down and in my hiking clothes and cleaning, spring cleaning clothes, that's what's up. Okay? Because I'm going to be who I need to be. Okay. Well, this is a big sexual, uh, uh, definitely a sexual union by all means. And it might be really good, but let's find out how good is it for you. You got the king of wands here. It's about as passionate as it gets. Okay, come on out like that. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, my name's Heidi if you hadn't caught it. Okay, but it's, it's, there's some betrayal here. Again, I feel like this is to yourself. I know I call you guys out a lot of my readings. And maybe the other person, maybe you got more feelings than this other person. You feel there's a sense of betrayal, vice versa. You may feel that um, there's more, there is definitely more to this because it's coming out on the board. Don't do that to yourself, guys. And that's probably why you, I found hope and spiritual. Bring that in as healing. And the second card after the sexual union is the healing. Family issues. Well, conflict is resolved. The healing has begun. Why that says family? I don't know because it's about healing. To me, it's the four of swords. Oh, four of wands. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see these cards, guys. They're pretty cool. So that's the Ten of Swords. Let's look at the Four of Wands upright, though. It's in reverse on my board, guys. With the King of Wands. So I feel like there's somebody here that you really have big, passionate, not only great time and great sex, you have big, passionate feelings for it, too. And... Somebody feels stabbed in the back because somebody's not bringing this relationship. And this could be an ex-partner that you have re, um, not got back together, but you have sex with. And you're, you were hoping to get back to the Four of Wands, but it's not leading that way as of now. And that's not making you happy at all. Matter of fact, it's, you're feeling betrayed, backstabbed, or they, they do. <clears throat> all this wind and stuff May, or maybe you just need to speak up right so that's my the wind and my big like that. I quit smoking I vape but I'm trying to cut that out too so let's see um eight of cups yeah you have to walk away at least for the moment or they do um 
because there's just more there than a sexual union and a king of wands. You're looking for a queen of cups. You're looking for king of cups. He makes more wiser decisions and, you know, stays a little bit more in his discernment, whatever. But you're having to walk away to heal. Okay, let's see what's going on. Tuesday, you're going to walk away. However this resonates, timeline, line, whatever. Um, I know I watch some things and it's back when or it hadn't happened yet. I do set this for weekly intentions, but I've had, have noticed and seen it's people who tell me that it happened. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to go away. Yes, eight of cups, four of uh, cups. You need to walk away. You, you need to think about things, okay? Sometimes that's him being a spoiled brat or, um, but this four of cups isn't like normal where it's like looking down and that, it, he's thinking. So you need to walk away and think for a bit, okay? You just walk your butt through that door. It's okay if you do, just tell the person you need a minute. Through that door and go in there and, um, Think about things. There's a guy going through the door. That's why I said that. Okay. Because I try to put... Yeah, there's going to be a tower moment. Oh, with the devil there. The, yeah, you. this is toxic and you're wanting... And somebody has some deep, unconditional love for somebody here. But they're slow to show it themselves. They don't know how to show it. They don't have the right. They don't feel... Something's not completed. Okay, let's go on. I could go on the whole story like that, but it is Monday morning feel, so we have to get going. I do like to pull my cards like that and go through the whole decks, find the whole story. Oh. Wow, guys, 10 of Wands, there's something completing definitely here with inside yourself. Um, and there's kind of a fast movement to put it down because there's burdens, ten of wands, nine of swords. There's burdens here. And when you think about it, when you go off to think about it, you're going to feel like, okay, I want to rush in or them to go think about it. But there's, it, it's burden. And I think because you guys have not had a full conversation of what your feelings are and what you expect and where your boundaries are and, you know, it's brought up burdens and sadness. Like somebody might even, you might just be having a sexual union here with somebody. Somebody went off and went on a date with somebody else and did uh, became king of one all over with them too. And you're upset about it, but you are in a free will open relationship that is sex right now. But you or them have a lot of feelings and it has brought ten of swords and ten of wands. And I'm sorry, but that is no sexual union. Only. Let's see what's happening for Wednesday making the effort. What yes, you're right. What are they making the effort on? It says at the bottom I looked, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. got the queen of wands here honey you need to go work on yourself come out of your nine of swords look at this queen of wands let's see and working on it yourself let's see because i was beside i did at first i was taking it upright but no nah, because you're gonna go work and make the effort on working on yourself okay to become uh efficient confident mainly in yourself you're gonna feel uh, creative. You may even start uh, designing something or doing something, doing your own tarot. Something creative is gonna come out of you big time, okay? Because you're and you're gonna come out of you, you, your night anxiety at night. You're gonna sleep at night. But if you guys want me to point out here real quick, what we have is a match: King and Queen of Wands. I mean, 
I like it. Okay, so let's see what happens at martini time. Socializing, interacting with your friends. I call it martini time. We like martini time. You're gonna go talk about things. They're gonna bring some light to this and give you some strength. Yeah, every time I pull that and I say martini time, your friends, family, whoever you go with to socialize that you go to to talk about these things always brings you strength, and I like that. So if there's a person in your life that you know you could always go talk to, they're a good person. They're always bringing you the strength that you need to figure things out, you know, about this oh yeah, new love that you want to go get your Ten of Cups with, that you've been manifesting. Oh, my God, this is so beautiful. Judgment is here. There might be a second chance. Um, like I said at the very beginning, this may be an ex that you guys are having sex with strictly right now and has not gone anywhere else and you're wanting that. I just see that this is two storylines. It could happen. Will of Fortune next to the judgment. Moving forward, Chariot. Although this is just all beautiful. Setting boundaries, though. Here she comes to slice and dice through some shit. Okay, so if that's your story... If not, this is something new that you have manifested, that come along, you want more than just sex. You're willing to hang out and like go tell them and they need to make a call or you're gonna make the call. Judgment's here, divine is here. Something has to progress forward because there's the will of fortune. And I think your friend's gonna give you the strength to know that you need to do so. And it can move forward, I see that out of just a sexual passion. Maybe you haven't even spoke to this person, they haven't spoke to you, that they want more. And that's where you can't be in those kind of relationships unless you're both saying, hey, you know, I was kind of feeling more. Can we move this up a level and maybe stop seeing other people or just stop, stop, you know, sleep together. Let's go have fun together and do something else. Let's take each other to dinner, a show, so be it, whatever it is. Yeah, there's a decision. They're going to give you strength to make a decision. Two of Wands. I like this guy. This Two of Wands. But see, if you see in the very back in the window, there is two ships coming together. Let me get it closer. Right behind them. There's two ships coming together. I like it. But he's also researching. He's also thinking. Take it back here. You're thinking, thinking. Getting the knowledge. Three of Pentacles, wanting to work on somebody, build a foundation with this Empress. Okay. Fighting for it. One more out for Martini time. One more out for Martini time. Two of Cups. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, at Martini time, you guys have too much to say because now I just got three and I wanted. All right. They are going to intuitively get you, keep, tell you, you're going to be intuitively guided after this to come out of the Two of Swords, make a decision, you know, um, and come out of the confusion because you're confused and you're being intuitively brought to make that decision. Two and two, again, there's eights on here, duality, there's twos duality. As far as sides go, we got a lot of fire. We got uh, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, uh, sorry, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Let's go over here. I mean, mainly that's what we have here. As far, I mean, we have other signs, but a little bit of earth, a little bit of air. Because we don't have any majors. What's going on? Oh, the strength. There's Leo. More fire. This is very much fire driven. Let's go to happiness, which is my Leo card because it's so bright and sunny. Um, what is going on? Happiness. You're going to be guided to a decision. So I think whatever decision you're making, what are they making it? What is their decision? And what is bringing them their happiness at the end of the week? Oh, geez. Now you got the two pentacles. What are they juggling? What are they juggling? Oh, putting your guard down from what you felt back here. Now, guys, did this happen to you from your own head? 
or if, if they did something, then I understand it, okay? I understand it. So how about an extra drink or two at martini time? But over here, you're one, you're juggling on how, or if you should put your guard down for this happiness. Two of swords and two of wands, you're making a decision at a crossroads, you're still just, whew, come on. The guard is gonna go down or is he gonna stay up? Oh well, this is a big old read this one. So you got hangman, knight of pentacles, Queen of Cups, we're talking about you want that unconditional love. And I think if you would talk to this person, they could get a different perspective of what you're really wanting. And I see them pouring their cup into it for you. And that's beautiful. You slowly would. But you have to open up to them too and put that guard down because you're juggling whether you should or not. And you should, because they need to know what you feel. They need to know what it is so they can get a different outlook on it and make that decision for themselves too. If they don't know what you're really doing, you're just slipping in their bed in the night and then slipping out in the morning. And this is good, baby. This is good for me because, you know, I really don't have the feelings and I don't have time and this, that, and the other. And then, because I've done those datings. I've dated like that. But I've always had to stay real. And people got real with me, too. And then I had to make a decision, you know? And you got to give that person that chance to make that decision. Okay? Because I see them pouring it right into it. You see, she's literally pouring it out. Guys, you have to, you have to communicate this, okay? For your own good, whether this be an ex and you guys are just kind of seeing that just, so, one of the two of you is more ready, king and queen, and wants that, but they're not opening up about it. But this person doesn't know it, I think they do it. I think they want to know it. Yeah, just go do it. Kid of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. There's hope with the star. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Here you go, right at the end and right here. You, you're going to be left broken heart if you don't communicate this to you. And you're going to feel like somebody's deceiving you or you're deceiving them. So somebody needs to open up. Whoever's watching this needs to go to the other person and open up. I like seeing this. This is something different, right? Than a returning or... I like this. Sex already about... You already are in contact with this person. You're already about it. It's already causing you too much, though, over there with that ten of swords and wands right off the bat. I mean... Okay, what are we going to do? Okay. Let's go for Monday morning feels. What is up? I'm here for it, guys. I'm here for it. Yeah, chop, chop, tick, tock. Like, it's time. Look. Chop, chop, tick, tock. Time's running out. You have to do this, okay? Don't let it slip through because you're nervous or scared or you feel they don't want something. And if they don't, then guess what? You'll go get your own new perspective, move slowly, and find somebody that you can love unconditionally that's going to love you unconditionally and have more to offer. I'm sorry, we're looking at kings and queens of the passion itself, which is sexual union. They know how to handle it. You got the high priestess here. Here and now, yes, done. You have to go have the conversation, guys. I'm not even going to pull another one. That's just... It's just... 
It is what it is. The conversation needs to be had. And I don't even see it coming out bad. And if it, you know, I see it's too much juggling and it's still at the end here. So don't put more into your head about what ifs. Because twos are what ifs to me. A decision's a what if. A crossroads a what if. A two of pinnacles juggling is a what if. Okay? So don't go over there with a bunch of what ifs in your head. Or even before you start talking to this person. You know, get the martini time and you do the what ifs there. One step at a time, yes, it'll bring you abundance and happiness. I am that. You are the king, queen of wands, or the king of wands. You know what that is? Very confidence. And if you are that, and you are that, you're very confident and damn sexy and full of unconditional love. Okay? I like that. Wake up. Yes, wake up, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, instead of sexual union, how about you wake up and make love? Because you've said something. And now it's out of that sexual union passion. We Now we're in these cups. At the end, we're by, by wands here, by the end, we're in the cups. Emotions, feelings, passion, fire. You're going to wake up and make love instead of wake up and slip out. Hey guys, I liked this Monday morning read. I hope you did too. Please have a blessed week. I will see you this week. I'll get uh, Aries up. I will start to release the cross watcher heavens um, as the new moon in Scorpio comes. Uh, until then, be blessed, be well, and bye for now.